in three, two, one, go. All righty, and we're off. Looks like we've got an interesting cone strategy from the Red Alliance. They get to choose their orientation for their game pieces. We've got Las Pumas and Tiger Dynasty both working on getting that dock and engage on their charge station. We've got Reckless Robotics grabbing a cone for the Blue Alliance and then heading over to their community to place it. Las Pumas coming in with a cone as well. Tiger Dynasty working on placing their cone and they're able to successfully get it on as well as Red Alert placing their cube. Harrison Boiler Robotics heading over to their loading zone to grab a cube for the Blue Alliance. Red Alert going over and grabbing a cone for the Red Alliance. Las Pumas working on placing a cube and then zipping across the field. Reckless Robotics placing a cone. Looks like Las Pumas is playing some defense against the Giddy Goats. And they're able to push another cone into their community and working on getting it into that low row. Tiger Dynasty working on grabbing another cone, joined by their Alliance member, Red Alert. We've got Reckless Robotics as well as Harrison Boiler Robotics, both working on grabbing game pieces for the Blue Alliance. Tiger Dynasty working at pushing their cone into that low row to hopefully create a link. Red Alert coming in with a cone for that high row in that same grid, trying to get a place working on a link as well. Reckless Robotics coming in with a cone for the Blue Alliance, trying to get a place onto that high row so that they can create a link. Unfortunately, they aren't able to get it on, but it still landed in the low row, so they do still get two points for that game piece. Harrison Boiler Robotics working on placing a cube in that co-op grid. Las Pumas and Harrison Boiler Robotics working on getting that dock and engage. Meanwhile, over on the Red Alliance, Skitty Goats already up, docked and engage. Red Alert joining them. Now all they need to do is balance, and they were able to do it seamlessly. They still got four seconds left. Alrighty, this looks like it's a really close match. So let's ha see how these scores end up. All right, let's see those scores. And the winner is the Red the final score of 110, earning two ranking points. The Blue Alliance are still able to get a ranking point for their charge station points, though.